what they used to do. Just because it didn't work this time, that doesn't mean that God's not moving in that direction. You gotta stay right there. I'm speaking to somebody right now. The Lord God has already given you your walking papers. Come on now. He's already told you what you need to do. And because you knocked and the door didn't open, that don't mean to go back. Yeah. The Lord God said you just keep on keeping on because he said don't go back to what you used to do. I delivered you from that. Mm. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, whenever God's pulled you out of something, when God's delivered you from something, he does not want you to go back. Do you know how serious it is when you go back to something that God delivered you from? Mm. You know how serious it's like a dog returning to his vomit. Yes. Yes. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Wait. Right. Whenever... Now, don't look at me like I'm straight. If you have a pet, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. When a dog returns to its vomit, it will return to it because that's all it. It'll bring it up and it'll take it back in. Yeah. The Lord God said, whenever I tell you to do something, Lord, have mercy. Wow. When, I get, when I set you free and I give you instructions to go a certain way, and then all of a sudden it don't work the first time, and then you just, well, let me just go ahead and pick up all that stuff I threw out. The devil is a liar. Mm. Because if God has allowed you to get it up out of you, praise the Lord God. Don't go back and take it back in. Yeah. I didn't get too many amens on that, but I want you to know that whenever the Lord God delivers you of something, but to see when the enemy tries to come back in, it's going to come down seven times worse yeah, than when right. it left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you thought you was having problems before. All right. And when he told you to walk away, and then you said, well, I'm going to go back. Who? <laughs> you going to have some more trouble. You have it double than what you left. So whenever God tells you to leave something or to, to put that thing down or I've gotten it up out of you, don't return back to it. No matter what, you're like, well, look, I struggle in that area. Do you realize God says, I work with you through the struggle? Yes. Come on now, God says, I come to set you free. And who the Son is set free is what? Free indeed. Yes, you're like, well, how I beat that? Continue to confess, I'm free. Yes. Confess that you're free while you're doing the wrong. I'm free. <laughs> oh, why? The devil hates that. Whenever you're doing something that you know that, you're like, look, God, I, I'm slipping, but, but I'm free. Amen. Continue to say I'm free because you know what? That, that word is going to begin to manifest Amen. in your mind. All of a sudden that freedom is going to come rising up because the word that you spoke that God gave you, that he was the son set free. free I am free for now. I may be cutting up right now, but my body is free. I am being spiritually detoxed. Yes, Lord. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I'll tell your neighbor, it's my season. Mm. Yes. Oh, come on, I need for some people to say it like they believe it. The Lord God is trying to tell you it's your season. Because in order for it to be your season, understand the title of tonight's message is your season instead of a cycle. The Lord God's trying to tell you, receive your season and get out of these cycles. Those of you that are operating in ungodly cycles. And you don't need to raise your hand and just look straight forward. And nobody's going to judge you because we all got those cycles. Yes, come on here. And nobody's sitting up here with no halo around you. That's right. None whatsoever. Now I'm, up, I'm looking, I don't see. Come on. <laughs> and you don't see one on me because there's not. Mm. In the name of Jesus. But the Lord God is saying that whatever cycle that we've been doing, whether it's been in strife or gossiping or arguing, yes. or come on. No, that, that's surely not in the house of the Lord, you know. Any of those ungodly cycles that we take on of those habits, and there's no complainers, I'm sure, in this house at all. <laughs> no complainers. Just take everything and say, thank you, Lord. Praise you. Yes. Everybody in here. Oh, Lord. Glory. You got some No, there's nobody that rebels in here at all. Oh. Everybody's obedient all the time. Yes, Lord. Yeah, that's a truth mm. right there. <laughs> obedient all the time. Well, you're like, it, I'm like yeah, uh, we're obedient to this, but everybody has an area yes, of Lord. disobedience. Yes. 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 Everybody does. Your level may not be my level, but we all be disobedient. Yes. I'm saying that yeah. to level the playing field. Yes, There's Lord. nobody in here that's more righteous than the yes, other. Lord. Come on, Lord, here, God Lord. We all at times operate in an area that we need help with. Yes, and we Lord. develop a cycle. And the Lord God is saying, I'm trying to get you to break those cycles mm -hmm. so you can walk into your season. Your season of increase. Your season of blessings. Your season of prosperity. Yes, your season of health. Yes, your Lord. season of wealth. Yes, Lord. Not, Lord. You can break that. Here. First, you gotta break the cycle, yeah. especially that negative talking that you can't have. It. Yes, yes. Lord, come on. Let's please break that cycle yeah, yeah. because that that's poison number one. That that cycle in the mind that says that you know what maybe that's for somebody else. No, 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 that's for me. 
Yes. Yes. And it's my supernatural season. Yes. I didn't say I can do it on my own. I said supernatural. Yes. It's my supernatural season. That means it's super above my natural. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not able come to do on. it, but oh. God able to do it through me. Yeah, I may not be able to do this task, yeah. but I know that He yeah. is my Lord, and He's gonna go with come me. On. And if He's gonna go with me, He's gonna perform me, and I can do all things yes, through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you, Lord. It's my supernatural, but it is my season. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I'm not, not about to miss yes, Lord. Lord. The Lord God says that it's for an appointed time. The doors that you believe in God for, mm -hmm. they're going to open at the appointed time. Yes, my, my charge to you, will you be ready for it? Yes. Will you be ready for yes. that season to occur? In the name of, will you be ready for it? Because surely enough, it yeah, oh yeah, I know the enemy's hot. That thing just cut off, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I let it receive. Somebody was receiving that. That, that screen just went shoot, shoot, just like that. Cut off, but that's, that's okay. All right. That's all right. Somebody's still gonna walk. That's in exactly. The that's that's exactly. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I thank you, Lord God, because I'm not going in my own strength. See, my own strength would have left me at the corner. Yeah. But I'm operating. I tapped into his strength, Ooh. his might, his power, his vision. His, and because I'm obedient unto his will, mm. he's going to maneuver me right into the favor that he's talking to me about. Yeah, yeah. And he said, it is your supernatural season. Father God, I thank you, Lord God. I'm telling you, everyone that's listening tonight, every individual that's receiving tonight, they need to walk into their supernatural season. They need to get into that place in God and say, you know what, Lord God? Come high, come made. And Lord God, I'm going to operate in my supernatural season. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be discerning of the time. Oh, mm -hmm. come. That's about the third service I've mentioned about discerning. That's because it's important. People of God, we got to start discerning. we got to know whenever God's in the room. we got to know when the Lord God is moving. we got to understand that, that God is moving in the house. And when he moves in, see, he may not move for somebody else like he's moving for you. But you can't judge your move by somebody else's move. Yeah. 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 Teach that. Yeah, yeah. See, we got a lot more ice up. You know, whenever you feel the stirring, and I'm saying that, for me, I call it my baby leaping. My spiritual baby. When my, when my start getting, you know, like butterflies in your stomach. And I was like, Lord, I don't know what's going on. I don't know something going on, but I can't explain it. That's the Holy Ghost for me. And I said, Lord God, if that's, whenever I start getting that, even if I don't feel like it, I'll do it anyhow. Yes, Why? Because he, that's my knocking. I'm preaching to somebody right now. You see, if you don't get anything else. So whenever you're getting that, oh, Lord, you press on my oh, Don't. That's your knocking. Yes. The Lord God says, start preparing yourself. Gather your things because your supernatural season is right at the door. Mm. I don't understand. I can't figure it out. I'm here to tell you. That's all I keep hearing in the spirit realm. It's this knocking. You see, flesh is saying, not now. Wait till another time. Wait till next year around this time. Everything will be right. No, no, no. Right now. Yeah. Uh, right now. Because see, if you keep waiting, you're going to mess around and miss your moment. Mm. You're going to mess around and wow, oh yeah, well, God, you needed to stand for that. And the Lord God mm. said, it's time to move right about now. Mm. In the name of Jesus. You're like, you don't know how, but God's already opened up the door. You see, you got favor. Mm. He gave Lord, you yeah. certain things. And he's talking to somebody, not just mm. talking to others. And God has given you favor. If you've gotten doors that opened recently that weren't opening before, Understand that you're knocking, men, men, women mm. of God. That you're knocking. You're like, wait a minute. I couldn't understand. Well, help the, thank the good Lord for giving the servant for the Holy Ghost. He's telling you, whenever you're getting this unusual favor, all of a sudden, he said, I'm knocking at your door. Wow. I'm knocking at your door. Doors that weren't opening or just opening. Yes. Things that weren't that given to you before, just given to you. Things that have been provided for, that weren't being provided for you before. And the kindnesses that are coming in. 
something that was not there before? The Lord God said, that's my knocking. It's a supernatural move in the name of Jesus. And because of that, you need to make sure and understand that that's my, that's my moment right there. That's my season. It's for an appointed time. Because if you miss your opportunity, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait, my God. I, one thing I don't want you to ask, some of us have been waiting long enough. Am I right about it? Right. You've been waiting long enough. And now the Lord God said, I'm right at the door. I'm standing at the door knocking. And why are you missing your moment? Why are you letting other things, circumstances, situation, people get in the way of your supernatural season? My God. Oh, I'm preaching right there. That this is your season. It just because I, I've got, I'm closer, but I want you to understand, just because somebody else is not being moved by what's happening, that does not mean it's not your season. All right. Because, see, you can't weigh your season with their season. Because it's tailor-made for you. Amen. You're like, I'm not hearing the voice of God. It's not your season, babe. Mm. <laughs> Somebody else is hearing, they're like, well, God told me to move. Why are you, why are you keep why? Because he's talking to me. Yeah. I know he's talking. Everybody ever felt that way before? No matter, you can be in a room full of people and you're like, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord God. And everybody's like, what's wrong? It's my season. <laughs> you don't understand. Something hit my spirit, man. And I know it. Whatever God says, move. I was like, my God, it hit you. You felt like the Lord God was shaking you right there in your seat. Yes, Lord. Lord. I want you to know that that's how anointings will flow too. I, I close with a personal testimony because I almost missed my supernatural season. The Lord God kept telling me to do something, telling me to do something. And I pray this testimony bless someone. Kept telling me to do something, but I didn't want to do it. This is before I, this is way before I, there was no minister. It was no pastor. It was just a little old person in the sanctuary back then. And the Lord God told me to go and lay hands. I was like, no, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I am not going to do that. I am not. I am not going to make a spectacle. I'm talking to the Lord. Lord, I am not going to make myself shame in the church. I'm not going to do it. No, 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 no. He showed me. Did he not show me? He had me to get up. And I was like, Lord. And then go to somebody I never seen before. Never. First time. They probably the first time at the church. And he wanted me to go lay hands on him. Lord, why would you? And I almost went, because I was arguing the whole while. I was arguing with them. Anybody ever been there? You know what I'm talking about? God's talking to you and you're talking back. You're not saying them, but you're saying a lot. Not me. And he wanted me to go lay hands upon a man of God for his ear. Because he was, it, it, I didn't know it, but the Lord God says, I want you to put your hand, not just, in, but put your finger in his ear. Oh. <laughs> now, you know what I'm talking about. That's an extreme. Am I right about it? It's extreme. Not like, to go, not like I can lay hands on his hand and just kind of like, oh, pass my hand on his back and like that. No, go literally go to him, put my finger in his ear. I was like, oh, God. Oh, I, I argued with the Lord all the way, but I was obedient. Thank God for that. Because I was obedient. I did actually get up. Like I said, I got up, didn't know the man, and I thought I didn't know what he was gonna do. You know how it is when you're being obedient, you don't know how the other person and the man was so receptive and did not know the man was deaf in that ear. Mm. I did not know it, but he the father knew it. I laid hand, I was obedient, did not know so really and I was he didn't even hear me coming up. Come on now, he was deaf. So he laid hands on it when he got up and was able to hear the altar call. Wow. And when they did the altar call, he went back and said, I can hear. Wow. Wow. I said, praise wow. God. Hallelujah. Amen. And you listen to what you said. Like I said, that's before there was no minister. There was a, it was just being obedient. I'm saying that because that right there opened I would have missed my moment for my deposit. See somebody up wow. in here. God's telling you to do something. Don't miss your moment for your supernatural deposit. Because see, my me of the arguing with the Lord. No, Lord. No, Lord. The Lord, I said, I was putting something in your hands. Mm. Come on now. I was putting something in your hands. I was putting an anointing in your hands to lay hands and they shall recover. I didn't understand it. Then all of a sudden, after that, everywhere that I go, I'm always laying hands. I'm laying hands in places I don't know. Laying hands on vehicles. Laying hands on cars. Laying hands. Laying hands. Uh, spreading hands all over the place. Yes, touching a hand on fire. Laying hands. Mm. And surely enough, that same hand is the hand that heals. <laughs> that same anointing is the hand that heals. And I said, well, bless God, not understanding why, but 
See, I'm saying that I would have missed my moment. See, some of us are sitting back and you may sound funny or strange or unusual, but whenever God begins to tell you something or do something, just go ahead and do it because that, that's your favor. It's operating right there. You're, he's, you're about to step into your season. Do you realize that that was maybe almost 25 years ago that that's when my season began? Then I ended up finding my, and every church that I went to, every church I've ever pastored, the Lord God, I'm sitting there minding my own business. Can you please come? I sit way in the back, I'm not to the front. If you ever knew me, I'm, I'm the back row, last row, on the corner seat, on the edge. That's me. So when I sit there, so if anybody calling me, you must be, it's got to be the Holy Ghost. Because you sure enough that going to get me on the front row. And I love the Lord, but I'm back there. And then they come leave from way in the front. You over there. I said, my God. But being obedient. I did the same thing. I did what he told me to do. And I'm saying that because I'm trying to encourage someone that the Lord is speaking to you today. And he's telling you that you are on the edge of your breakthrough. Your season is right there. But will you be obedient to the subtle calling that God's speaking to you? Will you be obedient and say, yes, Lord? Will you be obedient and just say, you know, it sounds awkward or strange. And I'm not, it's out of my comfort zone. I don't really want to, but at your word. Mm. Yes. At your word, Lord God, I'll do it. Somebody needs to start saying yes. Yes to the Lord God. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. And I mm. want you to know that when you do, not if you do, when you do, you're going to see the manifestation of God's power and glory flowing upon you because you will actually begin to get into your season. See, wow, I'm closing, but I want you to know people of God. See, we're always wondering that God... You know, when are you going to start my season? When the Lord God says, uh, he's not, you know, he's not waiting. He said he's waiting on you. Yeah. All right. He's yeah. waiting for you to do something. All right. God's already told us. I was like, well, I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting on the Lord. Waiting. When are you going to do it, Lord? When are you going to do it? When, the Lord God said, I've given you all these indications. I've told you that this is your season. And if anybody, this is somebody, third warning right here. This is your season. Walk in it. It's the third time you've heard. You've heard it from other places. You've heard it from this and that. You're like, wait a minute. Uh -huh. And then tonight is your sealing right now. Just seal it. The third time. The Lord God said, this is your season. This is your time. He said, I told you. I told, I told you to be prepared and be ready. But this is your season to move. This is your season for me to activate every gift that I put. This is your season. In the name of Jesus. Come on, stand to your people. We're going to pray. In the name of Jesus. Because some of you are actually just receiving, just receiving, and the, the stirring of the water is taking place in the name of Jesus. I believe that there's a stirring in the water in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God, my God, yes, Lord. You need to know that passage right there. You gotta move when the water is stirring. Hallelujah. Who's gonna put me in the pool? The Lord God, pick up your bed and walk. Get in the pool. You don't need anybody to pick you up. Come on now. When you see the water stirring, then begin to move to get in it. Come on. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, come on. At least extend one hand up if this is you. If this is your season and you believe that God is speaking to you tonight, I, you don't need to watch anybody else. If you believe that God is speaking to you tonight, at least get one hand up. If you believe that this is actually the beginning of your season and that the favor that's been given to you is actually the portal, the opening of your season to take place and manifest, Lift up one hand. Father God, I'm praying for every individual at the sound of my voice. Those that are here in the sanctuary and those that will be receiving that understand that this is their season that they're walking into. That they're about to embrace Lord God, supernatural power. Lord God, supernatural increase. Blessings, manifestations of your glory. And I thank you, Father God, and even intensifying their discernments. In the name of Jesus, if that's them, that Father God, that they will receive this word and know that this is their season. You're about to get doors that were opening that were not open before. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, that every individual is receiving that tonight, that this is the beginning of their supernatural season. And we said amen. 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 Come on, give God.